Hello Super Set Maniacs, welcome back to my channel. With just one week left until the 2024 Mr. Olympia, it's time to talk about something that's been on my mind for a while. When making predictions or having discussions about the Olympia, the question of who beat who often comes up. Since both Hardy and Derek placed ahead of Nick Walker last time they faced each other at the 2022 Mr. Olympia, many are quick to count Nick out of the equation. But did they really beat Nick Walker in 2022? Officially yes, Hadi took first, Derek second and Nick third. However in this video I'll show you why I believe Nick Walker was robbed of at least the silver medal that year. So grab your popcorn, this is going to be controversial. Front double biceps, what are we really looking at here? Some would say we have two aesthetically pleasing athletes in Hardy and Derek, with Nick stuck in the middle like a fridge. Sure that's one perspective, but here's another, I see two athletes who are still bridging the gap between 212 and open flanking a true mass monster. Yes, I know bodybuilding has shifted towards prioritizing aesthetics and flow in recent years, but as long as that shift undermines pure mass and conditioning, I stand in opposition. Say what you want about Nick's flow, but he's the most massive on stage, always dry to the bone and let's not forget, he's the only one among the three without any sight enhancements, someone's got to say it now. When it comes to overall flow, Nick held his own in this pose, almost as well as Hardy and Derek. But when you factor in Nick's arms completely dominating theirs, it's hard not to give him the win. This is open bodybuilding after all. Front lat spread, this is Nick's weakest pose, everyone knows that and Hadi is definitely the best in this lineup for this pose, but does Nick really lose to Derek here? It's debatable. Either way, it's a close call so it shouldn't hurt Nick Walker too much, even though this is admittedly a weak pose for him. Side chest pose, this shouldn't even be a debate, Nick is the clear winner here. Derek does have an impressive side leg and great upper body roundness, but his upper body looks like he's still 5 weeks out. While Hardy is balanced top to bottom, his upper body thickness just can't compare to Nick Walker's. Nick competes in the same league as legends like Rowley and even Phil Heath in terms of upper body roundness, a level Hardy simply can't reach. And let's not even start on the left shoulder issue. For any unbiased fan, this should be a clear win for Nick Walker. Back double biceps, this one is even more straightforward, Hadi simply can't compete with the other two in this pose, that's just a fact. In the pre-judging, Hadi looked a bit softer but by the finals he was more polished. For clarity all of Hadi's poses are either from the finals or the pre-judging compulsory round where he tightened up, so I'm being fair to him here. But as I said, this pose is really between Nick and Derek. While Derek undeniably has the best back in the world today, back in 2022, he wasn't yet a fully developed open class athlete and you can tell. He didn't have the mass to stand toe to toe with Nick, who looked fantastic in this pose. It could go either way, but the key point is that Derek doesn't dominate here in 2022 and Nick has a solid case to win this one as well. Back lat spread, here Hadi Chupan comes back strong and clearly takes first place, leaving Nick and Derek to battle for second. While Derek may have the edge in wit, I'd argue that Nick Walker still beats him in this pose. Derek's back in the 2022 back lat spread still had a 212 look, lacking the fullness of a true open class competitor. At best, it's a close call between them, but Nick has a solid case here. Over 74% of you watching my content in the past 28 days aren't subscribed. Imagine where we'd be if just half of you hit that button, it cost you nothing. Let's hit 30k subs, thank you and god bless. Side triceps, this one should be straightforward as well. Nick Walker will always dominate in the side triceps among these three. I know that nowadays with Hadi's fans, it's all about the abs and obliques but Nick holds his own in that department too. He completely outclasses both of them with his arms and triceps as well as his overall thickness. Given that he's dry to the bone too, 
This is yet another pose that goes to Nick Walker. Absent eyes. This is definitely Hardy's pose. I won't argue that. But once again the comparison between Nick and Derek shouldn't be too difficult. Derek may have the lat width but Nick brings polished abs, impressive thighs, overall mass and superior upper body conditioning. Plus this isn't even the best angle for Nick. I'd argue that Nick is closer to Hardy in first than he is to Derek in third in this pose. Most muscular. Let's just ignore Derek here. He's completely outmatched in this pose. I know there's a narrative that Hardy is one of the best of all time in the most muscular and I'll give him credit for the hardness and definition in his core and chest. It's genuinely impressive. However, Nick isn't far behind in that regard and completely dominates Hardy when it comes to shoulders and arms. Anyone claiming Hardy beats Nick in this pose with all due respect is simply mistaken. As for the crab variation, it doesn't make much of a difference. I'd argue all three look worse here than in the hands clasped version. Ultimately, Nick remains the winner of the most muscular pose. Conclusion, the first thing that should be obvious is that Derek was simply gifted second place in 2022. The hype following the Pittsburgh Pro guest posing and his impressive debut in the open class created a buzz, but he wasn't yet a fully developed open competitor. The fact that he outplaced a monster like Nick Walker, who was in the best shape of his life, speaks volumes about judging bias. As for the battle between Nick and Hardy for first, I admit, it's not as straightforward. This was the true showdown for the top spot and any result would be acceptable. Nick clearly dominated the mandatory poses which is why I personally believe he should have won this show. Even the fan vote reflected that many fans forget that Nick is the 2022 Mr. Olympia People's Champion. While I genuinely believe Nick could have taken first, I have no problem with Hardy winning since it was close and bodybuilding isn't an exact science. However, Derek placing second above Nick Walker in 2022 was a complete joke. Do you agree with my opinion? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like for the algorithm and don't forget to subscribe to help me reach 30k subs. Thanks for watching and see you soon.